Okay, hello people out there, this is Michael the Two Nastooges, and this is Pokemon Huckle Playthrough Part 20... 30... I give up. So, you may have noticed what level that Dragonair of mine is at right now, and that's, um, this is, like, root something out of there. I don't, I haven't memorized the roots and numbers in Kanto, um, uh, go there later. You! So, um, yeah, that level that Dragonair. So a couple levels ups there. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that Dragonair. What oh, meters are leveling? Oh no, not terrible. All right. Hello, yellow and green and tannish five foot tall dragon there. Oh, wing attack. Do I want to learn it? Nah. Keep the old moves. Open wing attack. Well, uh, let's see. So, uh, didn't really need to smell the bike there. The first thing I want to do now that I have this Dragonair evolved, or uh, Dragonite evolved, or however order of or operation talking things you want to say, a couple things I want to teach you. Dragon Claw will replace, um, Dragon Tail. It's got Good enough uh, base power and much better accuracy. Dragon Rush, rather. Although it doesn't have the secondary effect of making it flinch. Um, second thing. Alright. Learning Dragon Claw. Uh, what else do I want to teach you? The, t the HM for Fly. Boot up an HM, it contains Fly. You, uh, yes, let's, um, play something with Fly, shall we? Autofocus, thank you, uh... Alright, Waterfall will be going, uh, the first chance I get, because I just wanted to do, to give that, um, Midi as a Dragonair so that she could have a decent, um, attacking move that doesn't have, like, 70% accuracy. Uh, yeah, I'll go back to in, um, Blackthorn City and teach you fly later. Alright, so now that... Stop pushing the wrong button! Yes, stop shooting fly. Alright. So, uh... Wasting a little bit of time on my part. Switching you out to how about who needs experience? Alright, Java, you need the experience, but I doubt you'll get all that much, um... Good things happening to you in a bunch of water... Um... Areas. So, PNG... I don't foresee you getting very many, um, very many gym battle time until, uh, like, after game.
Lyra, you are calling me on the phone. I'm pretending not to hear you. I swear this is the room my DS that charge beam's accuracy has been dropped to 65%. Uh, Cameron, photographer. After a while, it sort of gets old. Yes, whatever. What's this? Like, fishing spot. Silence bridge. Hmm, really. Um, don't ask me why I'm thinking of this, but uh, I shall be upsetting the uh, alignment on the DS and. Eh, not really, and taking out a stylus and looking for hidden items because I seem to remember one around here on the water somewhere for some reason. Or not. Anyway, one more fisherman here. Do I remember what? Remember what, you idiot? Thank you. Anyway, uh, let's see, what am I? I was thinking of something, but like him, I forgot. Uh, I'll think of it later, but whatever. Uh, Lavender Town, here. Tourist building. The name rate of Kanto. Do I want to nickname the names of any of my Pokemon? Have I spelled anybody's name wrong? These aren't exactly difficult names to, like, get rid and all that, but whatever. Unlike, uh, Pokemon Black, where I misspelled Archeops. Oh, whatever. So, I don't believe there's really much here, except for the name raider and the Pokemon sign on the Pokemon and the, um... The new radio tower that replaced the cemetery or whatever it was. Replacing a cemetery with a radio tower, seriously, guys. Anyway, uh, you can talk to these guys if you want. I think this is Mr. Fuji. Uh, volunteer Pokemon house. Running into walls. Hmm. I like what they did with the, um, re rewriting the music for this town, so. Alright. Really. Anyway, they did move the, um, I guess the dead Pokemon to this, uh, house over here. Um, as opposed to just leaving them, or as opposed to, I don't even know what they would have done with them when they built the radio tower. Uh, so apparently, um, alright. Small place there, but whatever. Uh, okay, so I am going to duck into the Pokemon Center real quick. And returning, having actually cut the video for quite some time, gone back to Blackthorn City, deleted Waterfall from MIDI, and re taught her to fly. Uh, let's see, Pokemon Center, I don't believe there's anything useful in here besides the usual items and, um, two people and whatnot. And I think that phone was ringing, but if it was, I really don't care, because it's probably just Lyra telling something that's completely useless and whatever. Anyway, Lavender Town Radio Tower. So after the, um, success of the Radio Tower in, um, What's it called? Goldenrod. I guess uh, the people of Lyrander Town decided to put the place on the map by um, building the wrong radio tower and replacing the uh, cemetery or whatever it was. So anyway, that guy there that I just completely ignored and talked through, uh, he will when you talk to him after fixing the uh, power plant with the machine part and the rocket guy and the Cerulean Gym and all that. He will give you the expansion card for the uh, Pokegear radio, meaning that you can listen to a couple more channels in uh, Kanto. One of which is important to progressing through the game, and the other is, um, I believe they are the Hoenn and Sinnoh Sounds. Uh, something like that, but I'm not sure I'll throw up an annotation and verify that or, um, refute that or whatever. Uh, 
Anyway, I'll get more into that later. Hmm, really. What'd this guy say? Uh, because of the uh, thing with the rockets and um, the raid and all that? Yeah. In other words, Game Freak didn't feel like programming like three more floors of that uh, raid tower there, but whatever. So that's all you really want from there. Up here, um, I believe there are two or three battles in um, the rock tunnel. And who do I want to throw out in the lead? Java's one level below everyone else. You can go out front. You! Of all the things a random Pokey fan could have had, why a Quagsire? It's like the best counter to Arcanine. Like, ever. Anyway. Uh, let's see. So, once you deal with him, and I feel like I should have Thousand Keen on, I'm kind of used to having the Thousand Keen on automatically since um, I've been just playing so much Block 2, uh, White 2 rather, recently, and the Thousand Keen is just like automatic in those games. So, um, kind of surprised that's all the experience I got from fighting a Machamp there. Uh, let's see. This is Rock Tunnel, which I'm actually going to go and explore later. Uh, you do need Flash, I believe, yeah, and, um... Well, there's not really all that much in it that I remember that's, like, a necessary item. Maybe a couple TMs, but none that I plan to use. Uh, speaking of TMs, I see an item in there, which, uh, probably could be going in... Finding with um, strength because I keep all my HMs on my team at all times. Or up to now, all the HMs except fly uh, kind of ended a few minutes ago. What is this? Team 69 Rock Polish. Okay, I believe it can only be taught to uh, rock types. It will raise their speed by two stages. Um, I don't know. Of all the uh, stats you could raise, I never found speed to be the most useful. Um, and if I did want to use speed, i just find something that's, like, fast in the first place. Either that or use Baton Pass with, um, Ninja Ask. Baton Pass and Protect. Anyway, alright, Abercorn there, so, you! It's like the only things a gentleman in, these, in this game is allowed to have is a Growlithe and a Noctowl. Anyway, so, um, let's see, should I heal up Java or just throw somebody else up front? I'll throw someone else up front. Leading off is the XC. So, uh, let's see you, super nerd guy. So I throw out Gyarados, and what's the first thing that I get to face in electric types? Of course. Anyway. You too. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, as awesome as Hawk Gold and Soul Silver and um, 
the Johto games in general are... These games are terrible for experience. So all the other Pokemon games I've had, it's... Okay, you get a pretty decent amount of experience, even towards the end of the game when you're fighting stuff that's like five levels below you. Even in Black and White, when the um, experience algorithm has been changed so that you get less experience by fighting stuff um, lower levels than you are, but... I get nothing, I haven't gotten anything from fighting anyone in this whole video, really. How does the magnet train work? Magnets, duh. Again, most of my team is definitely in the full experience group, but still. Alright, so uh, what do we have here? Pretty sure there's uh, some hidden items in here. Uh, judging by the um, fact that you need to use cut to go through on both ends. Um, it's sort of unlike Pokemon to waste your time at all. Then again, maybe not. Alright, whatever. So uh, down here, what's this here? TM41 to uh, Torment, alright, makes it so you can't use the same move twice in a row. I guess that could be actually be um, fairly useful with the um, ultimate boss battle of um, these uh, Jodo games, but more on that later. You! Through you! Sorry there's no triple battles in um, fourth generation. Shovel is definitely one of my favorite items in the game. Anyway, you with the overload of coughing. Vance. Thank you for the rematch call. Anyway, um, hmm. It's possible to read, really. Well, I believe, uh, you could actually read the, uh, sign on the other, um, entrance to this thing. Something about idiot trainers, like, battling down in the, um, underground passage, so they weren't gonna, so they're just gonna close it off to try and eliminate that, but... Uh, I don't really see why they care, it's not like it's possible to demolish any important structures in the Pokemon game or anything. Look at the battle subway. Yeah, you can just use your Earthquake and your, um, Thunder and your, um, Fire Blast and all those crazy overpowered moves and the train is just fine. It's not gonna, like, blow up and go off the tracks or anything. Anyway, you recognize this place, Saffron City, once again. So this is, um... We just came out of the east exit from Saffron City, so that's, uh, pretty much... Everywhere we can go now. Well... I'm not sure if that's exactly what I meant to say, but... Where to go now? Remember these Snorlax I was blocking the way down, like, this place? 
Um, this guy, Fatso, takes up two old tiles. Well, what you do here is you go and uh, go to the radio thing and tune your radio somewhere near the top. Yeah, that's about right. It's the Pokey Food channel, it's not named, it's not um an automatic thing. Uh, you just sort of have to manually tune it yourself. Well, when you play that and talk to Snorlax, you get to battle him. So, you can catch this thing if you want. Level 50, um, I think it's got, like, roll out, rest, uh, snore, Snorlax type moves, body slam. Body slam and rest for sure, I'm not sure about the other two. Uh, you can catch this thing if you want. It's an interesting challenge, it's all like casting a legendary Pokemon. Um, in some ways it's more annoying because he's got rest and the leftovers held item, which means that he's gonna restore his HP over time, and that's a bit of a problem, given that it's easier to catch Pokemon at low um, HP levels, so yeah, there's a rollout right there, and there goes the leftovers right there. I'm not going to catch this thing because I already have a Snorlax and um, Black and White, and I don't really need another one, and I'm not really gonna go and um, complete the Pokedex or anything in this generation, because it's just uh, not going to be that easy without, I don't know, the GTS and stuff like that, which I can't connect to in HeartGold and SoulSilver, but that's besides the point. So, um, regardless, you can rematch and after you defeat the Elite Four again on, um, I think it pointed the, out the spot on the Silence Bridge, it's kind of an intersection place, and oh, hello, I didn't even notice you'd turn on battle. So anyway, um, there's quite a bit of stuff out in this route here, and the rock tunnel this Snorlax is kind of blocking, but I think it's about time to cut the video here, even though there hasn't been all that much except for maybe Lavender Town and Snorlax right here, or like right now. So, rate, comment, subscribe, watch the next part of this playthrough. Um, really getting down to the end of this um, game of Pokemon here. See you later.